no, but then, what was different about how you came up with that track then? So that's what I, you know, Colin, dun, 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 that's Colin, a little more classic R&B, but then he starts doing these changes, leading chords going up to the hook, which mm. was very more something you would hear in the to total world mm -hmm. and that kind of world. And and then I, you know, I came in with the beat, the second verse is so hip hop. It's from this whole break beat, the static on it. It's so dirty. And I think I, I'm scratching It's Yours with Tila Rock. It's somewhere in the background, too. It's so hip hop on top of these chords. And then let's not forget Andrea Martin. Oh, she wrote the lyrics. She wrote the song, the lyrics, yeah. And I think the whole vibe also with uh, Maxi Max. cooking food. And I learned a little bit in that session. Okay, if we just sit with our headphones on and just uh, one of our beats, we won't make those records. We got to put our focus on the writer mm. and the song. And we really learned that from Five Days. That was really where we it clicked for us that, yeah, pay as much attention still to your track. But when you're in with a songwriter, they deserve all attention and deserve all our focus. And that's the only way to write a good record. And, you know, Babyface is the master of that. You know, he'll, he'll just sit right on a keyboard before he barely put a drum on, mm. you know. So that was the, our learning experience was that hey it's still the song yes that's a dope beat hallelujah but the songs that we really get attached to in our life is really those songs that are special and yeah. that's the song that's the lyrics the, the lyric song. yeah so it's, we had and being danish it wasn't that easy just to the english oh, language yeah yeah you know it wasn't our main language you know yeah you know, so, and there was a lot of stuff we had to learn, you know, we really had to learn that that's when I think after that record, it start, we start just going, okay, we, we got it now. We understand the attention we have to pay to the songs on top of our beats. Can you talk about, uh, we, we lost Sandra Martin um, yes. uh, recently, um, but I don't think... <laughs> you give me a glass of water. But I, Sorry, I, we, we lost Andrea Martin recently, but I, and I don't think she got the credit that she deserves as as a songwriter um, because you know she she wasn't uh, you know in front of the cameras like say Missy or, right. or Diane Warren. Yeah, and you, you're talking about knowing her as a you know as almost like a family member. Um, the way yeah. you describe that that session, what was she yeah. like? Um, so for people who have you don't know her maybe know Sufa's songs but what was she like absolutely 100 percent one of the most talented song songwriters we've ever worked with and singers mm. in case you don't know she's the one singing on that house record show me yeah that you know robin s there is no robin s that's andrew singing that song yes i didn't know it either until recently yeah, but definitely find out when you hear it now. You know it's Andrew, and Andrew didn't even you know she was so sweet, she was so humble, and she just let that happen. Like they take her demo vocals, put out a record and call Robin S, and have someone strange. Millie girl Vanilli, in. whole Millie, whole Millie Vanilli stuff. Yes, it is before Millie Vanilli, I think. No, maybe after. Yeah, yeah. probably. But anyways, yeah, that's that's Andrew singing and. You know, all many of our big songs. I love me some him, Tony Braxton. That's that's Andrew as well. Oh, so then she, how did you how did the working relationship happen? And did you would you have which would she, would, would she didn't write something or would Colin and you play something and she'll write on top of it? Or how did it then work? She, she, she would just come in, and it was always chaos, and it was just beautiful. But we. We had now learned to really pay attention to them when they walk in and treat every person that walks in the studio as the most important person when you walk in. Mm -hmm. So you don't just sit in the corner and do a beat or whatever. So we just started having fun. And, you know, one thing with me and Colin, we, we really have this sarcastic European humor <laughs> that they don't necessarily get in America. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, many times, you know, some engineer would have the hi-hat really loud and Colin would be like, should turn up the high a little bit, and then we'll turn it up, and we'll be like, no, 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 okay. 
<laughs> you know, so but but Andrea had our humor too. So we just had so much fun. And most of the times it would be Colin sitting with some chords, mm. a little bit like bass, and her humming, or I would have put some beats on, so it was more like a track already. Mm. And we would just play three, four, five tracks. And she would just go, that's it. And she would just go in and she would just write the song on the spot. Wow. Like in the room. Like while she's figuring out the melody, she's writing the lyrics. I love me, I love me some him. Who we'll just who we'll just sit there going, What is going on? Like, you know, she was so incredible. One of the most amazing wow. talent songwriters, you know. Clive Davis did sign her. And he did try to put her out as a solo artist. Mm. You know, I don't know if there, there is an Andrea Martin. It wasn't out yet. It wasn't out yeah. yet. Yeah, but it didn't. And yeah. maybe, maybe, she, yeah, maybe she was a songwriter. That's okay, too. You know, maybe yeah. she was not an artist. You know, it's it's not necessary just because you write good songs that you're an artist. You know, we see mm. examples of that all the time. Sometimes mm. it is. But yeah. a lot of times it's not, you know, Sean Garrett, amazing songwriter, his solo career didn't necessary. But then you see sometimes a Neo. Okay, yeah. that worked. What makes the difference? You just know now. Many things. Yeah. Comes into, yeah. So, but then did you and, and Colin then start to write the lyrics as well? Then how, what did, what, how did you then start to get more comfortable writing the lyrics and thinking, feeling more comfortable with, with what you were writing and producing? We started like paying attention to having concepts. Um, and it sounds a little boring, but we we realized if there wasn't a concept, then it would be hard to get people to remember that record because mm -hmm. even though it would be a bunch of beautiful words, if there wasn't a story or concept where that line ties it all together. Mm -hmm then it's it's hard to get that impact. So we, we would always give all the top writers all the freedom in the world. We would never go in and nitpick in the process because we really believe in, it's like a painting. When you paint, if you go in and say, I don't like it. And the guy goes, well, that red you don't like is actually going to be green. I'm mm. about to put blue. You know? Like, so you've got to kind of let them go through the process. And Harold Lilly was one of my really good friends. And I one of my just, mentors in this uh, business too. He wrote all the stuff and like stuff like that. And he always says, trust the process, mm. which is just let them do that part. Even though maybe you can hear something, let them, you don't know. And then when you're done, you go, you know what? I think, you know, we need to come up with a line that's kind of like that punchline that, yeah. you know, the end of the hook, you know, you say that line and kind of go, whoa. Yeah, it's about yeah. a girl it's not even about a guy or you know or something like that you know yeah yeah yeah. so that's that's the way we have done it more i'll say colin like for example heartbreak hotel got really involved in lyrics um but i you know really our main thing was to give them space and then once we were going there we were going now melodies we got very involved in and that's i think being scandinavian you know, why are there so many good Scandinavian pop producers? You know, you have Max Martin. Mark and all Martin. Stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pops and, and I think one of the reasons is when we grow up, our first time we get attached to a song, we don't know what they're saying. <laughs> yeah. We're six, seven years old, but we like the melody. Yeah, yeah. So you, most can, you know, like, you know, uh, you've got know, Ace of you've Base, Abba, you've got Stargate, uh, Stargate, Stargate, you know, Stargate, yeah. You know, oh, I love Stargate, you know, yeah. Friends of ours. Yeah, they're so sweet. Yeah, and they're they're so thankful for us. They feel we paved the way. They always when they meet us, they're like, you're the reason why we we even dare coming over to America. Wow. You know, so we have a great relationship. Yeah, but you know, it's because so melodies is another thing we that we go really hard on melodies, mm. really hard on melodies. So I think it's a combination of things, but always respect in a studio or not. It's not never ego, and no one is necessarily right. We just open doors and trust me when something is the best we all know. It's yeah. pretty simple. But always open different doors to see what's in each room. You want to try to rap there? Sounds like a horrible idea. But let's try it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, why not? We'll spend half an hour and then we'll confirm 
okay, that's not supposed to be a raptor. You know what I mean? So I think that's one of the things we, we've also learned that, you know, really kind of being in a studio, writing a song is also, you know, you're a therapist. <laughs> I sometimes go to a therapist in the studio, you know? Yeah. It, you know, it's part of it. It's a big, and a lot of the new producers coming up skip this part. Mm. You know, they just on because now it's all on online and on, computers. Yeah. And when they go into the room, they just sit there like they do at home. And it's like, if you don't pay attention to that singer right there, you're not going to get a song. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of Halftime Chat. Please remember to subscribe, share, and comment. But most importantly, why don't you become a member of Halftime Chat? We've got amazing videos, amazing perks, and um, being able to support the channel. But anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. I never participated in that kind of phase of somewhere in between. Or even loving us on which I did initially um, with him. Um, heat of the moment. We have gotten the business out of the show. The boys are like growing up. It is because she's still making an impact on the Four houses that have. I'm not, I have a couple of pieces. Trying to get this one and that one. But that works for you, but just for me, I'm. Oh, no, 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 okay, you okay. Yep. They don't understand what Jodeci boys and men and all experience for you, and you can actually up and play it. I mean, I was, I, I love, I love all different jobs. <laughs>